Today's tutorial is all about layers. Layers are one of the most important components to know when working with Procreate. Layers allow us to move things around easily, make things overlap, and resize things. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up a new canvas, screen size, so hitting the little plus sign, tapping screen size, and bring up a new canvas. And just like in my previous videos, I explained that I like to have a little border around my edges of my canvas. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. There we go. So I have a little uh, border around the edge of my canvas. Okay, so let's take a look at our layers panel first. Here in the upper right hand corner, beside the color circle, you'll see an icon that looks like two little squares that overlap. If you tap that, it will bring up your layers panel. Right now, I only have one layer. That's called layer one. And I also have my background layer, and that's it. So on this first layer, I'm going to draw an object. I think I'm going to draw a tree. So I'm making sure that I have my layer one selected. It's blue. I'm gonna find a color for my tree. Okay, so I found my brown that I want. Now I'm going to go up to my brushes and choose my monoline brush. That's one of my favorite brushes in the calligraphy set. And there it is, monoline, it's already selected, it's blue. I'm gonna go ahead and start using that. So I'm gonna draw a tree. Let's see, I'll draw it over here. I think I want that bigger. Maybe a little bigger. So it's easier to see on camera. There we go. This is a standard symbol of a tree. Tree trunk. Color drop the brown in there. Now I'm gonna draw the top of the tree with some green. Okay, so there's my tree. So now what I wanna do is I wanna draw some hills, um, let's show some grass, and I want them to look like they're behind the tree, like the tree is sitting on top and in front of the hills. So what I'm going to do to draw the grass is I'm going to draw it on a new layer. So I'm gonna go back up to my layers panel, and in the upper right-hand corner, you'll see a little plus sign in the layers panel and you wanna tap that, and it's going to bring up a new layer. See, there's layer one, that's my tree layer. Layer two is my brand new layer. I'm going to draw the hills in layer number two. So I'm gonna find a different color green this time, something different from the treetop color. Let's see, maybe I'll do like a nice dark green. And my monoline brush is still selected. So I'm gonna start drawing some hills. There we go. Now you'll notice uh, what happened when I filled in my tree or my hills. Um, so you might be thinking, uh oh, where did the tree go? Is it gone? It is not. It's just hiding underneath my grass layer. So all I need to do is move the grass layer to be underneath my tree layer. And that will make the tree pop out and make it look as though it is um, in front of the grass layer. So to move a layer, go to your layers panel and tap and hold the layer that you want to move and drag it to the position that you want. 
So I'm going to tap and hold my grass layer. I'm going to drag it down underneath my tree layer and let go. And then you'll see that brought it in front of, that brought the hills in the back and the tree in the front because my tree layer is on top of my grass layer and that's what I want. The next thing I want to show you is how to add details to a layer. I'm going to add some texture to this tree. And I'm going to choose a brush in the texture library called Signet. It's under textures in the brush library. And it's right here called Signet. And that is one that comes with Procreate. So if you have the app, you should have that on there. I'm going to select it. It's already blue, so it's already selected. And what I want to do is add a little bit of texture with that brush to my tree trunk and my tree top. But watch what happens if I start adding that texture okay, to that layer. So it's not only going to go onto the tree trunk, but it's also going to go outside the edges of the tree trunk and the tree top. And I don't want that to happen. So what we can do is use a tool called Alpha Lock on the layer. Alpha Lock will lock that layer so that anything you add to that layer will only stay on that layer. It's not going to go outside onto the edges. So to find Alpha Lock, what we can do is tap the layer that we want <clears throat> and it'll bring up a little layers menu and you can see alpha lock right there and you can tap that and you'll know that alpha lock is on because in your little layers um, preview here you'll see a little checkerboard pattern covering or behind that little preview if you don't see the checkerboard pattern then alpha lock is not on to turn alpha lock off tap it again and uncheck alpha lock and then the checkerboard pattern will disappear. Another faster way to turn on alpha lock is by using two fingers and swiping the layer to the right. You'll see the layer bounce back and if the checkerboard pattern is there, then that means alpha lock is turned on. To turn it back off, use two fingers, swipe to the right again, and it'll turn off checkerboard pattern is gone so my alpha lock is turned off but I want to turn alpha lock back on so that I can add this texture to my tree so now alpha lock is on and I'm gonna make my brush size a little smaller and now I can go ahead and add some texture to my tree trunk and it's not going to go off the edge of that tree trunk. Okay, and I can do the same thing with the tree top as well. So that's a little tip um, on how to use alpha lock. The next thing I want to show you is how to duplicate a layer. The word duplicate simply means to make a copy of something. So what I want to do is I want to duplicate or make a copy of this tree and I want it to be right beside the tree, maybe a little bit further up closer to the top of the hill. I want to use duplicate because I want them to look exactly the same. If you wanted to draw another tree that looked slightly different, you could just go ahead and draw it on a new layer. So to duplicate my layer, what I'm going to do is go back to my layers panel. My tree layer is still alpha locked, so I need to turn that off. And what I'm going to do to duplicate it or make a copy of it is swipe to the left and this will bring up a little panel and it will say duplicate. So if you tap duplicate, it will bring up an exact copy of that layer. The new copies are always on top. So this new copy is already selected. 
So what I'm going to do now is go over to my transform tool. That's this little arrow right here in the upper left hand corner. Tap it and it's going to bring up a bunch of dashed lines that make a box. And what I can do is take that and move it, whoops, and then just move it over. I can also resize this layer to make it a little bit smaller. There. I like that because now it looks like this tree is closer to the foreground. This tree is closer to the background. It's further away. It's higher up in the composition. So it looks like it's farther away. You can also use the transform tool to move things around, overlap things, and resize them. So now I feel like I want to add some extra details to the tree, like maybe a, a bird's nest or maybe some apples or something. I think I'll draw some apples. I want these apples to be on a different layer so they're easy to move around and resize if I need to. A good rule of thumb for using layers is anytime you are drawing something new, like a new object or a new part of your work, it's always a good idea to put it on a different layer in case you want to be able to move it around or change it up. So to draw the apples, I'm going to select my layers, add a new layer, I want to find a red. A nice dark red. I'm going to make sure my mono line is selected. Right now I have signet turned on, so I want to find mono line. Mono line. And I'm going to draw these apples. I think I want to go a little darker, maybe actually a little bit lighter. Okay, so now I want those apples to be on my smaller tree as well. I could just draw them or I could duplicate my layer. And since we're practicing with duplicating layers, I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate. So I'm going to swipe to the left, tap the middle button called duplicate, and it will make a copy. And that new copy is already selected, it's blue. So I can go to transform arrow, tap, and move it over. Now those apples are too big for that little tree. So I'm going to take these little blue dots at the corner here and move it so that it makes it smaller. And there we go. Okay. So the last thing I'm going to do is add the sky. I'm going to change the background color to a light blue and then add a new layer at the very bottom of my layers panel to add some clouds. So I'm gonna turn the background to blue. Right now it's white. I'm going to choose a blue. Nice lighter blue color, nice blue sky. And now I want to go down to the, my very last layer, select it and add a new layer. And I want to move this down. Okay, we can move them up or we can move it down. And this last layer is going to be for my clouds. So I want this to be at the very, very bottom. This is going to be at the very back of my, of my art, um, artwork here. So to add some clouds, you can use any brush you want for the clouds, but you could also draw them in the same way we drew the tree, or you could use a different brush. In fact, I think there is a brush that's actually called clouds. So I'm going to see if I can find that one and see what it looks like. I'm gonna first change over to white. If you double tap with your Apple Pencil or your finger in the white section, it will automatically snap to pure white. Okay, 
Now I'm gonna find the clouds brush. I think it's in elements, clouds, and it's already selected. Okay, so I wanna make sure my opacity is up. I want those clouds to be nice and bright white. And then I'm gonna move the size. Let's try 25%. There we go, it's looking pretty good. Looks like a beautiful sunny day. All right. Okay, so I think I'm gonna also add a couple of um, maybe some texture down here in the grass. It's looking kind of plain. So I want to alpha lock my grass and I'm going to add some texture down here as well. Look for an interesting brush. Ooh, I'm gonna try snow gum. See what that looks like. Kinda looks like a leaf. Ooh, I like that. Remember, because I alpha locked my grass layer, it's not going on to um, my sky because I alpha locked it. So I can get really close to those edges. And because we used separate layers for our tree and our grass and our sky, I can go over top of the tree, not gonna do anything. Ooh, that's a really cool effect, I like that. I'm gonna start using that brush a lot more often, I think. All right, that's it for our tutorial all about how to use layers in Procreate. I hope it was helpful and I hope you had fun. Stay tuned for more Procreate tutorials coming up in the future. See you then.